So I've been asked a lot about what I think is the best possible setup for Janu as it pertains to his stats. So we're going to talk about those. I hope you guys enjoy. And if you do, be sure to help us hit our like goal of 700. Also, be sure to subscribe if you guys enjoy the Soul Leveling Arise content because there is a ton more to come. So starting things off, uh, we look at stats. This is how I have him spread uh, in terms of the way I've built my own Janu. So I think ultimately a lot of people are going to kind of hit a median number with some of this. We're all going to kind of just get to the same numbers when we start hitting like max level or whatever it is, probably. Probably. But I have done a lot of testing. I've reset this. If you go to yours, if you haven't reset any, you're, you've got like a third of this. Maybe maybe half. But I've reset this like five or six times just to test it out and see how I like certain things. And one thing I came away from that understanding was that it kind of also depended on the weapon and artifact set you're using. For example, your artifact set should be tailored towards your weapon. Your stats should be tailored towards your dominant weapon or your types of weapons that you have and that you're using. So, for example, the Demonic Plum Sword here is extremely strong and uh, it has a heavy critical hit focus. It does a lot of hits, has a lot of uh, high crit rate, high crit damage, things like that. Uh, an infinite stack here, like that's really, really strong. So, by default, I gave him an artifact set that centers around critical hits. And then if we go back over to the stat spread, I do have a decent amount of investment in agility for increased critical hit rate and critical hit damage you can also look at the overall stat spread of your Jinwu by hitting the uh, magnifier glass there and it will show you the actual numbers here so crit hit rates at 20 percent uh, about 70 percent for the damage and you notice i put a lot of investment in attack because obviously you need the attack too uh, and then precision, which is actually extremely important. I'll talk about precision in just a moment. But I didn't put much investment in vitality uh, or intelligence. I like intelligence actually a lot. I may put a little bit more there uh, because of the cooldown reduction. I don't really necessarily need the additional MP. Uh, with some weapons, some skill set. I don't know if skills... I, I know weapons do. Actually, yeah, I guess I should say that skills do too. But some setups, the point is that you may actually be more draining on your MP. But MP is such an easy... Uh, resource to get back mid combat like it's not hard at all it just passively comes back extremely easily and fast boys up thank you for the subscription so if you guys aren't subscribed you know what to do get that little guy running across the screen so anyway um you know i didn't really focus on that too much and defense is an interesting one because obviously normally you would want to improve your defense but Jinwoo is so fast, he does a lot of hits, well, depending on your, your weapons, once again, um, that I didn't really focus on that. Also because this game has the extreme evasion shadow step thing to where you could just be completely invulnerable to damage, basically. Also, there are other avenues if you need defense, like support characters that you could run with you to give you shields or extra defensive abilities, like things like that. So I really didn't think about focus on this too much. And there are also other weapons that could give you shields and there's a sword that does a counter. So like, there's a lot of play ability as it pertains to defense so i didn't focus on it too much now again i invested the most currently in perception so perception is really interesting enhances your perception stat to increase your precision as your precision increases your minimum damage dealt to enemies also increases so this one is extremely straightforward if it reads the way it reads is exactly how it works but it's actually extremely important so as you progress through the game uh you are going to have a lot of scenarios especially if you're trying to they call it punch up in other game but if you're in other games but if you're going to try to like punch up where you are going up against content that's harder than they're recommending like you know your your, your power isn't what they're recommending maybe your jinu is under leveled which doesn't really happen a ton because they start forcing you to hit certain level benchmarks as you play through the game but nonetheless if you're trying to do that you are going to just encounter variants where your base damage is not high unless you're getting critical hits your just base damage is very very low so perception is going to help with that there are also going to be bosses or enemies that are going to have higher defense numbers to offset the overall flat attack increase that you get so you don't want to just focus on attack you don't want to just focus on critical hits you need to bring the medium number up higher so those ones and you can have so those ones can just do their job reliably and you can have more consistent damage output throughout the match i stumbled across a youtuber that did a similar idea to this video i honestly don't remember the name it was last night late last night but i will post their video or channel down below and if i forget please let me know because i want to want to really make sure that you guys go check that youtuber out because they did a similar video and they had the same idea that perception is extremely important or precision perception is extremely important <clears throat> but they came up with something i didn't actually even think about which i probably will cover in a separate video a little bit more in detail it's not the most crazy thing but when it comes down to weapons uh remember i talked about how weapons the play style of the weapon and also the passives and stuff kind of dictates how you should probably build your jinwoo whether it's with the stat spread or with the artifacts set things like that 
And then also some weapons are slower, some weapons hit more, blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of things that you have to consider when you're trying to build him. And obviously all those things would apply to every single weapon in the game. But when you, actually, let me get out of here. But when you go to some of the other weapons that you're probably ignoring, there is something interesting that happens that the game just decided to, okay, I thought it crashed on me. There is something interesting that happens there. So we're gonna go into the weapons page. And these are all Jinu's weapons. So when we take a weapon uh, like, do I have, I don't have, okay, so I've already been, I've been salvaging them. So basically don't just willy nilly salvage them. So when you take these, as you improve them here, the precision stat starts to go up and up and up. They get better stat spreads across the board, so they get much stronger. Now, obviously, we know when you enhance any any weapon in the game this way, advance them. They will all get stronger, better stats, blah, blah, blah. Also, the added incentive is to not just drop them because there is an event going. But as you see, they start improving the precision stats specifically a lot. Now, it's really hard to do this with higher rarity weapons. But these rare ones, if you have a main like SSR weapon and a rare weapon as your secondary one with a number of extra advances or limit breaks in them to raise your base precision up, that could actually be a sneaky, strong way to use Inu and also improve his base damage. Now, obviously, if you're somebody like me that has a couple SSR weapons, you may or may not want to do that. And obviously, if you have dupes in higher rarity weapons, that will also be a factor that matters. In fact, we can also put, we can put some in this sword here that I was probably not planning on using, uh, but we can just do that now. I also would like to mention that these SR weapons, I would also not just get rid of these and only worry about SSR, particularly as the game is brand new. If you can get limit breaks in some of these weapons as well, then you could be in an interesting situation where these weapons are really, really strong. See the precision here is at 1200. So we'll actually just try that one now. To where I was going to say, you can be in a position where these weapons are really strong. Also, um, this is another thing. Like, this weapon would be a nice weapon to use versus uh, Egress, I believe, because that boss is a light boss. So, like, having type advantage also is a matter. So, like, if you don't have a bunch of weapons with type advantage that are SSR, which is probably unlikely for a new game, new players, uh, then you probably want to consider that too. So, we're going to come back here. His base precision, as he's currently set up, is... 90.24 and if i go ahead and drop the grimoire here but we put that sword we just did which had 1200 that number should climb the rest of the stats may suffer in some way i'm not really sure. i'm not really going to look at that all too much but that number specifically should climb and it's now at 95 that is a massive jump that's a massive jump five percent increase just by changing the weapon and the weapon's not even leveled up so obviously we have more room for growth with the rest of the stats if i were to improve this weapon further base like just how it is so do not sleep on your weapons do not sleep on uh setups for janu and also again the artifacts are going to help me with criticals blah 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 there's a lot of stuff that kind of goes into it now that's basically the general thing so like if you ask me what i think the best spread is and and how i would like to break these down in terms of least to most important I think no matter what build you have, precision or perception is the most important stat on this entire page. Now, again, they're all designed to work in harmony, right? They're all designed to work in harmony, obviously. Attack, it's not, you know, crits aren't gonna work as great without attack, but attack is also not gonna work as great without precision, and precision doesn't work as great without the other two. They're all designed to work in harmony, but I think those are the three main stats with precision being the most important. And then attack and critical, the, the choice is between which weapon you're using next. Um, and you can honestly, with some weapons, just mainly just focus on cooldown reduction. Because the cooldown reduction is also a sneaky, sneaky, sneaky good one. Like, cooldown reduction is really strong, obviously, for, for the fact that you can spam your, your abilities much consistently, which can lead to another host of things happening. But that's why they gave us these. <laughs> so it's unfortunate that his stats aren't actually reset on each one. That's something they should totally do. Because having to reset this repeatedly to change his overall build sucks. Each one of these settings, these these presets, should not only get everything else off, they should also reset that. That should be something they should, that they do, or they strive to do. But you can change them around a lot. So I hope that explained uh, the best setups for Jinu. And again, the main takeaway is that it depends on how you are trying to build him. 
if you want to build him as more of a defensive character you have a defensive weapon if you have a defensive weapon i may argue that you may still want to focus on attack just because your weapon is more of a defense one anyway but you could try to make him the supreme tank i think the game plays in a way that you wouldn't want to do that though because it likes dropping those stupid requirements oh win an x number of seconds blah blah blah, blah. stuff like that right so anyways guys my name is D Free. I hope you guys enjoyed the Soul Loving Rise video. And if you want to see more guides, please recommend some topics to cover down below in the description or the comments, excuse me. Speaking of the description, if I haven't already, please let me remind me to post that other YouTuber's channel in the description because I thought he offered some great insight in that video. And we're all just trying to learn right now how to play this game. So thank you for tuning in.